Okay, the liquor store that I go to gives away, ooh, look at that, oh, a cigar box sticker. Gives away cigar boxes, because they have so many and they don't, they don't think that they're special. But I think they're special. We're gonna try to get this, tear this out. And what I'm gonna do with this cigar box should be super fun. I kinda like that too. Look at that, it's embossed. Oh my goodness, there's two of them. All right, those are cool. But what we're gonna do with them, I'm gonna stick my sticker on here and put this aside, is make a Halloween box for Brittany, my big girl, okay? So we are gonna take this seemingly normal cigar box and turn it into a spooky Halloween box for her to open up and see all kinds of fun stuff inside. Let's start by, I kind of love the edge. So I'm gonna start by painting some of this. I'm gonna paint the inside acid green and this is just cheap acrylic paint from Michaels. So this is gonna be our first color in here. Doo, doo, doo. And I'm not gonna to try to paint it perfectly. Um, this is gonna be sort of a distressed, creepy, um, should be fun. I got some fun stuff for Halloween, but this is the first time that I am doing a diorama box like this. And I emailed Brittany and I said, did, you, did she like Halloween stuff? And she said, yes. So we're gonna see, plus she has a smallish house. So I feel like having a, like a, a kind of thing that she can kind of just close up and put away in her closet could be fun so that she doesn't have to store it because she brings stuff over to our house to store stuff anyways. Everybody always wonders why I shake. I spent a ton of time this week editing videos on the computer and doing all that. And when I do that, my wrists are not the greatest. So then they shake. I think I just got paint on me, but that is not a new occasion in my life. We got paintbrush hairs in there that's excellent that's like an extra feature all right i can tell this box is lined with paper because it's starting to get a little crinkly and to me that just adds dimension now i have already been working on britty or on emmy's journal and painting oops just throwing things around here and I found out I absolutely adore this purple color. So we are going to put purple. And I think I might leave that gold border, at least for a minute. I don't know if it's going to stay. But I feel like that's kind of a cool border for this box. And it's already there. I'm not going to try to keep it perfect. And yes, I probably should have primed this box with some sort of gesso. But for me, the problem with gesso is if I'm going to do any of my Posca paint pens, um, gesso eats my paint pens. Like it eats the nubs of them. So I try not to use it too much in um, stuff I do. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be painting this because I've never made one. We're new. And I will probably be watching a bunch of the gals who use Ideology, which is the little gizmos that Tim Holtz puts out at Halloween time. And wherever I use one of their tutorials, I will sh for sure um, link it because this is going to be a multi-parter. We are making this box and there's going to be all kinds of different things we have to do to make it. But I want to get a coat of paint on here because I got my paint brushes out. Okay, boop, boop, boop. Uh, it does make it handy to be able to turn the box without getting paint all over yourself when you have those uh, borders. I think once we grunge up 
that it could look like creepy tape and why not i'm not looking a gift horse in the mouth here guys guys and gals and gals and guys and everybody I'm trying to do a halfway decent job uh-oh this side we're gonna have to cover the whole thing because this has no yeah, i guess i could not go over there but we're gonna have to cover most of this because this has that purple thing but we could also just put something over that purple over that um surgeon general warnings gosh darn surgeon general telling us about smoking what is he thinking trying to save lives and let's do this 20 cigars it doesn't say how much they are so what happens is at my um local liquor store they sell the good cigars by the piece so they open up these boxes and then they sell the cigars by the piece and then they're super nice to give them to us they make me happy I use them for my ephemera. I haven't made them very fancy yet. It's my first attempt at fancy cigar boxes, but they're excellent storage units. Get this done. There we go. Okay, all the sides done. All the sides are done. All right, let's give this a minute to dry and I will be back. So, our next step is going to be to put some texture on this. And I bought these, these are called backdrops from Dim Holtz. And we're gonna use them for some of the sides of the box. That would be super funny to put a cigar box back on a cigar box. Cough syrup. Uh, I kinda wanna stick to purple. Well, we could put that some places. That could be a contender. Not that. Oh, there we go. That's kind of orangey, right? We like that. Oh, that's kind of fun. Um, oh, I think unless I had lots of this, I if I had two of these, I would totally do that because I could go around two sides with at least some of it. But I feel like since we don't have two, oh, in loving remembrance, that's creepy. Maybe too creepy for Brady. But some butterflies. Ooh, butterflies and moths. I may use some of that on the inside. Okay, this is a cool one. I don't want the that, but I may use this. Look at that. Look at this. That's amazing. We're gonna make sure that one stays up so we know not to use it. This is really cool. Oh, there's orange. Okay, so we're going to use this for sure. Ooh, basket company. That's cool. Naturalist Traveler Companion. There's kind of a book page thing. There's some green. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, we're going to pull that out for Brady. All right. So I feel like we got some cool papers to use for the outside. So what we're gonna do, I want the front top. Did I glue it shut? Oh, I probably glued it shut. Oh, there we go. We unglued it shut. Okay, so, up. Oh, duh. We need to paint this too, I guess. Yeah, we're going to have to paint that, too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, for sure, because that's going to be... So I'm going to put a couple quick layers of paint on here. Give me one sec. And we'll work on the outside while this is drying. It's just a bummer. I have to clean another paintbrush, and I'm a lazy paintbrush cleaner. And it's Saturday, and I have to clean all my paintbrushes on Saturdays. All right. So now this is gonna be kind of, the way I envision this is she's gonna open this up and gonna realize that there's a, I just touched the paint in there. That there's a thing going this way, but I want the box to kind of be, well, no, I want the box to be this way. Okay, so I need something really good for on here. And I'm thinking kind of like that. It's just this middle part. I kind of want it to come down like this. 
and then kind of along here. But I don't want it to be totally straight. I want it to try be a little bit creepy weird. Because we can dye that and do some fun stuff. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Yay. Okay, so let's glue that on. I'm using Nuvo Glue, which is my favorite kind of glue and is missing right this second. Oh, it's time to get a new one out. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at me. I had it upside down. I'm so smart and pretty. Okay. So we're gonna put this down. I know a lot of people just stress before they put it down, but because I use India ink and pens and all kinds of stuff, I'm not really gonna do that, but you could. Okay. There we go. So it's gonna be like there's a piece of torn paper on the top. Nice. And I think, I think I'm going to go this way and this way and then have these two be more different. Okay, so this is all the way across. So we could put this here, right, and kind of carry that on. So if you tear up, you get that little extra bit of place you can ink dye. If you tear down, oh, here's the difference. So if you tear up, you get this. Remember we tore this up, but the white's on the back. So you don't have as much of an opportunity to get a really good dye in there. And I'm gonna have to go get dinner ready. And I think Johnny and Josiah will be excited. I like, I'm a vegetarian, so I don't, get up. I don't eat ham, but I eat Brussels sprouts. And then when I make the um, sweet potatoes, it's just to me a giant opportunity to use a whole bunch of brown sugar. Okay, I love that. We still have this little piece. I feel like we could rip it up here. And come over, right? So it kind of goes around. And you may be wondering, like I did when I started, why you would paint everything if a lot of it, oops, of course I couldn't get the other one to move, but this one will move. Um, why you would paint everything if you're gonna cover a bunch of it up with, um, with paper. And the reason is because you're not going to cover everything up with paper. I can guarantee you that because I've done enough of these things to know that there's going to be parts. I'm going to put that there. There's going to be parts of this. Actually, I think I'm going to glue down part of this and then leave it open on the top so I can stick another paper in there if I want. Like a layer. Like as if there'd been layers of just googies and papers and rattiness and okay let's do a little yeah let's do this piece coming down actually i'm gonna wait on these last couple little pieces because i might put those over top of whatever we do with this black stripe okay so i feel like i want a corner of this black stripey on here so we can just see it, right? And kind of know that it's part of the design. Okay. Oh, nope. Oh yes, we can go right to the edge there, okay. Now see that, that paint kind of gives it more to stick on than the um, than the shiny edge does. 
So I'm glad we have it. Where's our opening? There's our opening. Okay. All right. Now let's focus on this. So let's do this. Will that fit? Okay, I want to tear this up. And I'm doing it backwards so there's not really tons of white edges on this one. See how the white edges are on the bottom? And you can pick how much white edges you want. So on the orange, I wanted lots of white edges, so I tore up. I'm tearing down. It's just how paper's made. If you get used to knowing how paper's made, well, I don't really want a straight edge there. Let's tear this. If you get used to how paper's made, then you know some stuff that will help you with your crafting. All right, so that's that. I need, oh, I was gonna put a little bit on here. So I kind of want it to be short here and get longer as it goes. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Yay me, I was so smart. And then we can glue that other piece down. Okay. And that lid is going to come up here, so we don't want to ask me how I know you could glue your lid shut and why I keep checking. <laughs> I have glued my lid shut. Yes, I have. Not on a project like this, but I have done a bunch of these as... Um, I've done big boxes, like I've made really cool boxes with tissue paper and things like that. I've just never done, so I've made boxes. I know how to make a box. I've just never done a diorama where I had something inside. Let's put another coat of paint on here while we're in here. Mostly I work flat um, on paper. So I do journals, I do all kinds of stuff like that if this is the first time you're watching but I thought it would be super fun to do something like the gals do, gals and guys, do for ideology for Tim Holtz. And I have a whole bunch of stuff we can use and I don't wanna just waste it or save it forever. Um, then I won't be able to buy any next year when he comes out with new stuff. That's why, oops, wonder if I made a mark and got some Got some grease on my hand. So this painted up beautifully because it was that open white paper. This one we may have to do three coats. Okay, so it should be a little bit of a shock when she opens this, right? Because it's gonna be that acid green inside and everything on the outside will kind of be ratty orange and black and dark and there we go. I had it over the the lid so it would shut. It's the hinge, I think, yep. It's the hinge, so I didn't realize it, but if we put it on the hinge like that, it would wind up. It would wind up bending. Paper is not your most hardy, um, hardy kind of thing. Okay, so we got everywhere but the back. So let's do the back. We're going to, so that's down, let's go down. And that goes almost perfectly. Let's, oh, that one got up. All right, so this, let's put this on here as if it was still on perfectly. You notice that one's torn up because we did something different with that one. All right, all right, all right. And you want to get pretty close to the edge for this so that when you smoosh it, it gets it all the way to the edge and holds that paper on, right? Because glue works with contact and pressure, so you want to make sure you push it down and have glue there. All right, I feel like I want this to be a little bit weirder. Like that. Like it got... And if it wasn't for a house with a baby, I might have more curly edges and things like that. <clears throat> but I'm sure Emery's going to want to see this, and I don't want her to um, 
to like grab the paper and pull it off. So I'm gonna affix more things than I would like really well than I would in my house. Like in my house, I'd probably leave a few of these edges and curl them. Cause while I'm a fascinated, fascinated Granberry, she doesn't really touch that much in my house right this second, right? She's more fascinated by Kitty, which um, many of you know we lost our older Kitty the other, a little while ago, but Feral Kitty has decided that she really likes when babies touch her, which is amazing. So she lets the baby touch her, like, like pet her. And we're, we were like, what? You won't let us pet you very often and you'll let the baby pet you? So she's coming into her own now that she's the only cat living in her bathroom. She lives in the bathroom. Um, it's so funny. I wrote a blog post about um, on Artsy Fartsy Life about how multi cats live, multiple cats live together. And Betty, who's the feral cat, always lived in the bathroom. And then uh, Pepper lived in the bedroom. And so one lady <laughs> emailed me and she was so happy I told her that because she felt like she was um, damaging her cat because she lived only in the bathroom. I'm like, Betty never comes out of the bathroom. That's where girlfriend lives. All right, we're gonna do this. And this is gonna be our last little piece of this for right now. And then we're gonna do some texture paste. And see with just those two little pieces of paper, we have gone from a new box to something that looks a little bit older, right? Where's our lid? Oh, I touched the paint again. All right, I'm gonna dry the paint real quick here. All right, I'm just finishing up doing a third coat on this side. And it's so funny, over here you can see where it's just not even covering it and then on this very third coat is when we got enough paint on and i don't need it to be perfect i just didn't want it to be so red um colored okay so now we're gonna do oh let's tip this over i have a little make it by marco stand that you just set it up in and this one i have to lean some of them they don't have to lean okay so now let's do some, ooh, we have one more piece of this. Do we wanna put it somewhere? Ooh, do we wanna put it across there? I do, okay, gosh darn it. Or do we wanna put it up here? No. It's so funny, I can almost tell, like there's a, um, a biological reaction where I go, oh, should I do this? And then one way will be so yes, and the other way I'm like, oh no, oh, not that. Okay, there we go. That's fun. All right, so we got this all done. Yeah, yes. Little ratties on the edges. Okay, now I am going to use my Harlequin stencil. We have to think again about how this is gonna go. This is the back. This is the front. Okay, so I want the Harlequin to go this way. So I'm gonna put it kind of in the middle of this, but not, well, maybe just like as if it was in the middle. Hold on, I've lost my, I had it here. It's here somewhere. Here it is. And we need a little spatula. All right. Let's go all the way to the edge. And for this, I will probably use, um, for Emmy's paper card, I used uh, mica stain, which is water soluble, water reactive. For this, I am going to use, now I just wanna move this over so I can get up higher. 
There you go. Um, for this, I am going to use India ink, which is permanent, um, so that we don't wind up, if it gets wet on the countertop, you can tell Tim Holtz does not have children in his household because he's always like, well, don't lick your art as if licking your art is the only problem when you have a cat and a dog and animals and children and licking my art is my least problem. Babies and husbands, he never licks my art. Okay, I don't need any on the back back, but let's do our sides and our top, and that'll start to give us an idea. I don't need it on the bottom either, right? Okay. Boop, 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 boop. And then this is the top. And then we're gonna have to go away and let it dry so I can cook dinner. And you can go do something productive too. Well, no, you can't. You're gonna be back here in like one second. Never mind. You can't go be productive. You have to keep watching. YouTube will be like, why does everybody leave right at this point? I don't understand it. Well, she told them to. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. So we're still working on the foundations of Riddy's box. And I have this piece of lace that I bought at Joann's and I'm gonna put it in there. So this is gonna go along here. Oh, I did some stuff while you were gone. I had Johnny put the handle on and I put some grit paste on it, which is just like nasty little um, grunge. And then I put this on the inside, but then when I put, and I like that, that it's very, um, I like that it's very green, but I feel like I need to grunge, you know, this part up before I put, um, oops, before I put her lace on. So we're going to grab our brown. And some, we're going to start with Vintage Photo. And this is archival, so this is um, permanent. And we're just going to go in here and for sure grunge up that white part, right? Oh, we may even use, I have this fancy brush. Oh, hold on. I have these fancy brushes. I think that might work better. This is a little stiffy on the edge. Let's get some on here. Oh, much easier. <laughs> a million percent easier. Imagine when you use all your tools, how much easier life is. Okay, choo choo choo. Over here, over here. Maybe get a little darker brown. I'm gonna have to come up the sides too. Because I just want to behind there. And okay, so here is something I was thinking I wanted to tell you. So as I went, I thought, oh my goodness, I should be um, distressing all these papers first. Oh my goodness, I should be doing the edge of, um, the box first. Oh my goodness, I should have this whole entire thing figured out before I do my next step. Otherwise, dun dun dun, certain doom, right? Um, and that's just not how I work. So we're not gonna talk about how you should work. I'm gonna talk about how I work. And the way that I work is that I do this step and then I do the next step and then I do the next step, right? Like I don't have an, a huge overarching plan of what I'm going to accomplish with everything. I just have 
Okay, well, I have an idea of what I'd like to do, and probably I should do some of that. So, you may be a planner and have to have every single step figured out. Okay, I almost feel like I want to go all the way. Oh, do we want to do the whole thing? Okay, um, you may feel like you need to have every single step figured out before you can start anything, and that's fine too, right? Like, that's just a different way of doing it. But for me, I find if I decide that I have to have every single step done, then I never can start, right? Like, I've done these before, um, started some of these before, and... I just haven't finished them because I haven't been able to, in my head, finish it. And so then I couldn't get started. So I think it's up to you, but I have to say that for me, and I've made big projects like the, um, I'm trying to think of what I'm trying to say, the, uh, the picture on the wall for my friend Deb, when I started it, I had no idea how it was going to end. Ooh, I don't like this line, but I bet you stuff will go in front of it. So we're not going to stress about that. Um, I had no idea how it was going to end, but I still started it. And that let me, that let me get going, right? And here, I don't know for sure that I want this black thing in here. Number one, I could always rip it out if I want. But number two... I'm going to put it in there because it's something that I do have in my mind. And now I've kind of grunged up the back and it'll be fine and everything will be good. And if I hate it, I can rip it out. So I feel like we think a lot of times that um, these decisions are, are monumental and they're not really that monumental. They're just, they're just a decision. Okay, I want to use collage medium. Tim Holtz collage medium. Uh, because, where is it? Okay, well, we're not going to stop just because we don't have something. But I really kind of wanted to use that because it really is made to glue things together. Okay, so obviously I'm going to have to buy some, but we're not stopping just because we don't have one thing. So let's, because, okay, let's call a spade a spade, people. I have a thousand glues. <laughs> so for me to stop just because I don't have something would be ridiculous. Okay, so we are going to, so what I'm going to do is I am going to put glue, a fair amount of glue, along here. And this is Nuvo glue. This is my paper glue. I don't know what it's supposed to be able to um, glue, but I'm gonna go over. Oops, I don't want it on here because I want to, um, I'm gonna cut it off, but I'm gonna drape them over the edges so that the edges can kind of hold them on. And if this doesn't work, I'll probably try double-sided tape. I don't know what Nuvo glue does. Dries clear. Deluxe. Well, okay. So I'm going to go right in the middle. I'm going to start in the middle. And I am going to go ride my stupid bike because I promised myself I would ride the bike for like half an hour a day and I forgot yesterday. Okay, so that's that. Let's see. Can we put these guys on here? What can we, oh, paint, paint. There we go, push that against there. Let's see if we can get this. I think the sides are gonna be problematic. I don't think this bottom part is. So let's put paint along there and see what happens. There. Okay, we're gonna try that. I'm gonna put this to the side. And then I got, from the bar where I go, these and this. And I think, remember we got those? Well, you may not remember I got these, but I remember I got these. I got some stuff to use. I got these 
paper dolls that are um, kind of creepy. They're Halloween paper dolls, so they're not they're not um, Halloweeny. They're just kind of creepy. So I need something for Brittany. Ooh, there's a girl with a bunny. What's this guy? <gasps> a little old dude? Okay, we're gonna grab him for one second. Maybe we need one more creepy, ooh. They could be a couple. Oh, they're a yucky couple, I like that. Okay, so what I thought I could do with him, work with me here. Oh. And those are called paper dolls. Paper dolls? Yeah, paper dolls. Not like my paper dolls I make in my um, mixed media or magazine collage, but paper dolls nonetheless. I thought I could like cut a hole in here, stick them in, and grunge them up a little bit, and have them be Okay, so I think the, so we're gonna try that because they're paper dolls. I mean, I'm not doing something that is, um, like I'm not going to hurt anything if I don't like how this turns out. Oh, all my little papers split on the sides. Okay, so let's get something just grungy. That's too big. That's not, oh, here we go. There we go, that's just what I need. So I'm thinking I could get a little piece of paper to put them on to be kind of stiff. This isn't super stiff, but we could always reinforce this paper. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm starting to have a lot of stuff. It's starting to creep me out. Let's put some stuff away. We're gonna keep this out. We're gonna keep this kind of over here. Texture paste. Isn't that funny? I could have sworn I had collage medium. That's why I didn't buy any. Okay. All right, gotta let it go, Schiffer. Gotta let it go. Okay. So we are gonna put, I have these really super cute things. This. And I wonder if I want to try to get him to look like he's holding it. I almost feel like the, like that's too advanced for me this, this season. Maybe next season I will be able to do that. But for right now, I just want some creepy people. Okay. So I, um, we're going to, we're going to, I guess I could clean my craft area. We're going to emboss her with, um, orange because i do have an orangish color which is this is fired brick and we have crackling campfire i have my old lady glasses so we're good and then i think if we do him we could do green and yellow i'm trying to pull out like Halloweeny colors. There's another yellow. Okay. We got something we could start with. All right. This is the bad one because one of the gals said to put tape on it. <laughs> I'm so smart. Okay. She's so smart. And I can't. Where is the good one? Because I definitely need. Okay, people. We have waited long enough. We're going to break out the good ones. I think we may have to retire the bad one because we've cut off the tip and everything. I mean, like, these are not ridiculously expensive. I'm acting as if they are um, the most precious things in the world. I've used them all this time, and we haven't even gotten close to using them up. All right, so this is the fat one. So let's get another piece of tape. We're going to put this in here. So we're always gonna have a piece of tape on the fat one. And maybe this time we try not to um, brush, brush. We try not to ruin it. That would be a refreshing change. 
Okay, here we go. It's a beautiful day. It's Sunday, so we might as well put our Sunday best brushes out. Okay, so let's start by... Oh, I need my tray. This will not work without my tray. All right, so she looks very grumpy. Let's give her white girl skin. Oh my gosh, it's so wonderful having um, having a point on your brush. This is so sad. I've been working so long with it being just atrocious that I'm like, oh, this is amazing. All right, so we're just gonna give her a little bit of whiteness. All right, I feel like we need to kind of color around her head. And I shall probably give her brown hair, but let's just get her, her whole face covered. Ooh, she's very pissy. I like her. She's like, she's got the uh, turned up eyes and she is not a happy woman, which is just what I'm looking for for Halloween. All right, do we want to make him white too? They're a very sallow couple. Okay, here we go. So he doesn't have any hair. We're not gonna do his eyeballs. We're not gonna do his mustache. Oh, that's fine. Oh, we gotta do his hand, this hand that you can see. And I know other people do this with the uh, distressed crayons. You could also, like, do it with whatever you have. I'm just using, okay. So we need to talk about using your supplies. And I'm not doing this hand because it's going to be behind her. Um, I want to talk about using your supplies. So, and I know I nag about this all the time. And you're probably like, stop nagging us. But here's the thing. You, I was watching Tim Holtz reveal yesterday and I'm like, oh, I got to get that new color and blah, 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 blah. And it's so funny because we buy the stuff, right? We buy the stuff. I think I'm going to do the, her bottom skirt in this color. Um, we buy the stuff because he says it's going to be cool or Wendy Vecchi says it's going to be cool or somebody says it's going to be cool right and then we don't exactly know what we're going to do with it so then when we get it and all that excitement has worn off then we put it aside well what i do is i will go to my stash and i'll go i don't know what this is but i'm going to use it right do not use your teeth to open up your embossing powder your dad paid a lot of money for those teeth um, I will go and try to use it or I'll watch a YouTube video and see how some other people use it. And I would say half the time I'm like, that is a ridiculous way to use it. I'm going to try doing this or I'm going to try doing that. But no matter what, use your stuff. Use it. You bought it. So if you don't have what I have, use what you have. All right. And this powder is kind of fun because it's translucent. So we're gonna come along here and we're gonna do a little extra, but I can actually do a little shading by having the two different colors overlap, or the two different levels overlap. And I'm feeling like this is more of a red than a um, orange. All right, now let's put this away. Now we're going to do her sweater, and we're going to do it in, oh, I got a little color on her, and that's because I didn't wait until my embossing was totally dry, and this is exactly why we can't have nice things, but to me, that just feels like there's shading, right? 
I don't, wait till you see. Number one, you'll hardly see that. Only you will know it's there. And number two, I feel like anytime we can put something that isn't like perfect, makes it look more real. Because humans do not walk around perfectly. I know it's shocking. All right, this is Crackling Campfire. This is supposedly different. Let's see how different they are. Oh, I missed a bunch. Oh, no. I don't know about you, but I can't tell the difference in those two. I'm just going to let it dry for a second so I don't get even more googs on my new pen. I thought you were going to tell me when I was being unrealistic with my timelines and be my adult supervision as my father-in-law says but obviously you're not reliable okay i try not to be crabby but when you only have a few colors of distress glaze and two of them are the same color that's terrible i just want to say it all right, so I need brown for her hair, and I have really pretty brown. This is a vintage photo, which is a beautiful color brown for her hair. Miss Grumpy Pants over here. And we'll do her shoes, too, while we're at it, but not her stocking. I think I'm just going to leave her stockings at, oh, her shoes go way up to here. Holy buckets. Well, since they go up to there, we're doing the whole thing. Because this does make it shiny, so if we didn't have it on that middle part, and there was just a little bit difference, I think it would look weirder. Shoesies, hairsies. Okay, there we go. Oh, she's very mean. She's a little scary. All right, I love her. Let's get, okay, there's a little missing in here. Do I care? I kind of care. Since it's for Britty, if it was for me, I wouldn't do that little bit. But since it's for my daughter, I'm going to do it. I don't want her to, to be looking at this and go, well, her tummy looks funny. She would never do that. She, this lady is going to be surrounded by 9,000 things that you won't even look at her tummy. But, okay, cool. All right, now we need him to be, I think I'm going to do his vest and his tie in yellow. Okay, so now on this one, we do have to sweep him off. So anywhere there is embossing powder, it will emboss, right? So if we don't clean off his white shirt, well, I cleaned off his tie too, but that's okay. If we don't clean off these white parts, they will be yellow. That is just how embossing powder works. Okay, we're gonna do his vest. Okay, maybe we do, oh, see, we did get it. Let's see if we can scooch, oh, we can still move it over. So you may not know this, but embossing powder is just little pieces of plastic. And sometimes you have a, a really little window where you can fix something by just moving the plastic over. But again, let me just say, nobody but you and I would ever know that that had happened because we're staring at it right this second. I'm gonna make his tie the same color as her dress. Okay, let's sweep it off his white collar. Sweep it off over here. It's like colorizing an old photo, right? 
either Johnny's here. He has a toothache today. It kind of falling ah. apart. I think it's because we're in our 50s that we're starting to fall apart. I can't tell if it's my car back or if it's Josiah going out. We'll have to find out in a minute. Oh, but anyways, Johnny has an abscess in his tooth that is making him have an alley. Oh, I think it's... I need an update, Johnny, and the people want to know. How's your tooth? Did they help you? No, I told you I have to go back at 11. Oh, you have to go back at 11? I didn't see that. Sorry. Okay. You're very grumbly when you have a bad tooth. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. He's always very grumbly. Okay. So... Here we go, we'll put some green on here. Ooh, they're actually kind of Christmassy with their green and red, huh? All right, let's just clean this up a little bit. Ooh, do we wanna make his hat green too? Or is his hat red? Let's see what we do. Okay, and it's subtle that there is, um, a difference in the colors but you can see it oh maybe we make his hat brown and we do his shoes brown or we make his hat black we make his hat black okay and we make his shoes black okie do you're right you're so smart and pretty and then maybe we need to make his hat band a color i'm not sure but we're going to do his hat and we're going to do his shoes in black and the closest thing i have to black is hickory smoke but it will be fine there we go Perfect. And I do think I want a little bit of that red on his hat. I know it's supposed to be orange, but it looks red to me. Okay, here we go. Boop, boop, boop. All right, and I don't want any orange on his face because that would turn it orange. Now on the black, it's not gonna show up because it's translucent and the black is darker than the orange, but on his face, which is lighter than the orange, you can see it. Okay, perfect. Now let's put this stuff away for this minute. Boop, that's it of these. Okay, so now we need to have something to hold them up. And we're gonna use this, and then we're gonna stick it in here. So we need to grunge this up. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put grungy, nasty stuff on here. And this is called Crypt Grit Paste, okay? And it is kind of just oogies. And we're gonna put this all around here. We're going to put it on here, and this is just going to make it look old and nasty. I only need it on one side because you're not going to be able to see behind him. So I just want a little dirty it up a bit. Now, some people use this as um, the color, but I'm going to use it like this, and then we're going to... I don't know if I want him one higher or not, so I'm going to make another one. Um, I'm just using this as the, the grungy bits, and then I'm going to paint it. And we may put something on there. We don't use that. I almost feel like I need another one. Let's get one more while we're gritting. And if you don't have grit paste, use texture paste. And if you don't have texture paste, make some. I know it's easy, pretty easy to use glue and sand and something, but don't, don't get stuck on you have to have all the products. If you like to get them, I like to get them, then that's great. But please don't feel like you have to have them all in order to be able to make fun stuff. Okay, so this is going to be the end of this video. Oh, man, I just stuck my finger in it. Um, this is going to be the end of this video. Uh, you're going to have to tune into the next one to see how the grit paste turns out, how the thing turns out. How does the ribbon stick? It's a cliffhanger. All right, I'll see you next time. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.